Get ready to do some hairdos. What is up? How's your day? I hope it's going amazing. Mine's going pretty good. Thanks for asking. I know you didn't ask, but I told. So, today we are going to do hairdos. They're going to be super easy. Don't worry. It's nothing too complicated. Just really easy hairdos that will step up your look. It will make you look super fly, super cool, and it will take no effort whatsoever. I promise you. Okay, one of them will, but the rest of them are super easy. So, stick with me and your hair will become super cute. <laughs> to just pull my hair off the side. I have these little gold clips, which I think are really cute. So what I do is I just take a chunk from the front and I pull it off to the side and clip it in. And this is super easy, but it also looks really cute and it adds a little touch with the cute clips. And then I just pull little pieces out, obviously like I do with everything. And it kind of just looks like, hey, I tried, but also it took me two seconds, which is super dope. Why wouldn't you want that? So that is the look. I have these gold clips in and super cute. So let's go on with the next one. Okay, these are really easy. I literally love all of them because they take probably five minutes at the most and they just look super cute. So. This next one is a ponytail. It's a 90s style ponytail because there's gonna be a little theme. I really love 90s, so I tried to go for a lot of really easy 90s hairstyles. So again, just take two chunks out in the front, two big chunks. You want them to be very noticeable that you have chunks out and it'll look weird at first, but it'll definitely get a lot cuter. And then you want to take the rest of your hair and put it in a high ponytail, which this can be a little bit tricky trying to get it up high without flipping your head over but I believe in you you can do it so once you get all your hair up in the high ponytail gathered off quickly before it can fall apart and then if you need to you can always use a comb to slicken it out but gather your hair in a high ponytail so then you are going to take these edge pieces and you're going to tuck them behind your ear and wrap them around the base of your head and then just pop a ton of bobby pins and you want that to stay do not want hair flying out that would look really weird so you do it with one side and then you do the exact same thing with the other side you can also choose to just do it on one side with like a big chunk or Really whatever you want I what I really like about these hairdos is they're super simple but also you can kind of style them the way you like it so there's that 90s hairstyle I think it's super cute Ariana Grande definitely pulls it off a little bit better than I do but she's gorgeous so how could she not but that's the look and yeah Okay, so for the next hairdo, I'm going to do a 90s updo with a clip. I told you there was a theme. So, gather all your hair, twist it once, and lift it up from the base of your head. You want to put the clip in towards the top because that's where there's going to be, your hair is going to be the thinnest, so it's going to be easiest, especially if you have thick hair, to gather up all that hair. And now you just take out little chunks and... I really like this one. I never thought I could pull it off, but I think it's super cute. So this one is again, super cute, super easy. And yeah. So this one in particular, I do all the time. I'm telling you all the time. It's really good because it's low on your head. So you can wear a hat with it. So it's gonna be two little low space buns. 
And so you want to take all your hair and gather it up and just wrap your hair around into a bun. I like to wrap my hair tie around and I leave it over half of the hair just like that so that it doesn't fall out and you can see the hair tie but it really doesn't matter. And then I just do the exact same thing with the other side. You want to make sure you have all the hair in the back because the most annoying thing in the world is finishing the look and then realizing you have a chunk of hair sticking out. So make sure you have all your hair gathered up and do the exact same thing. And now just pull the hair out. This is really cute. You can wear it with a beanie or a baseball cap or really just anything. So I think it's, I think it's really super cute and it's super easy. Like I said, five seconds. Okay, so for this look, this one takes a little bit longer. We're gonna do some Dutch braids, but I promise you it will look really cute in the end and it won't take too long. So first you want to part your hair down the middle. Once you've done that, you want to bundle up one side just so you don't take any hair from the wrong side. And then you're gonna want a Dutch braid. So I'll do a little tutorial for you guys just in case you don't know how to Dutch braid. So split your hair into three and then you want to take the piece that's farther away from, farthest I mean, away from the middle of your head and you push it under. And then with this hair that's left over, you grab some extra hair, you grab more, and then you take the piece you were working with before and wrap it over. So then you do that again, under, grab big chunk of hair, over. And you just repeat that until you're done. So I'm gonna speed this up for you and then we'll come back for the next step. Okay, so now that you're done braiding your hair, what I did was I just took out a couple pieces. You can take out however much you want, but then what you do is you take your knots and you just pull them outwards and it'll look messy, but I think it looks super cute. Also, if you get to this point and you don't wanna do this, totally feel free to just knot. And then you have your messy, cute Dutch braid look. So. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so this look has been really trending. Apparently it's a 90s look. I feel like it's more 70s, but I guess it's 90s. So what you do is you take a small chunk of hair from the front of your head and you just braid it. This look, I've been seeing it everywhere and I think it's so cute. And I just have been really loving doing it lately. I tried it and surprisingly, with so little effort, it made my style go up three notches in my mind. I mean, I don't know if it did in other people's, but in my mind, it looked so cute. It, put, it looks like I put in effort. It adds a twist to my outfits and I just think it's really cute. So I don't, Put hair ties in the end, but you can if you want. Sometimes I actually like to leave little pieces of hair out in the front, but you can really do whatever you want. So then I take another chunk about the same size and I just do the exact same thing. So once you get to this point, you can be done and you can just leave it like that. I think that's super cute. Or you can add two more, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to add even more. So cute. 
I think it's really fun to watch trends pop up and obviously I like what I like and I don't always go with the trends, I don't always love the trends, but I like to just see them and see how history is almost repeated in fashion and also just see like what other people are interested in, what other people are into, I think that's so fun and it just gives me another thing to like think about and add to my wardrobe to step it up. I always love to improve. And so now I have a couple braids, which again, you can leave it here, but what I'm going to do is just, I like to pull my hair back into a low pony and the braids just really add contrast and texture. And then I pull little pieces out around my face one more time like I do with everything and then you have your finished product so I think it's super cute like I said just add some contrast and some texture to your regular look and it takes no time at all so I hope you guys enjoyed the video I had a lot of fun making it and I hope you have a great rest of your day so see ya